This video briefly summarizes my life experience. As a child, I suffered from extreme poverty. We didn't have money for food. And my parents fought, argued every single day. When other children were happily gathered with their family for Chinese New Year, we struggled to find peace, warmth, and harmony. But I had a dream. A dream that I would travel around the world one day, speak fluent English. I continued to search, to travel. I became a nurse, a salesperson, a senior marketing executive, a corporate manager, and even a drive for Uber. There's a lot of hardships throughout the journey. Loneliness. Exhaustion. Confusion. Sleepless nights. Poverty. Financially broke. I lost all of my savings. Over a hundred thousand dollars in the foreign exchange market last year and start from zero ground zero but it did not deter me if you choose not to be threatened not to be deterred not to be afraid no one can stop you and to today I struggle still. I struggle to help my brother and my family. Not to think that I need to help my family. As beautiful as I am presenting myself, there is so much suffering behind the scene. And I work 16 hours a day. Start from 6 a.m. in the morning, an hour or two meditation, followed by an hour or two marketing work, and then get on with my day to see my clients or on the road, or walk around the suburb to deliver some flyers, or say hi to the local GP, followed by a short lunch break, sometimes maybe no lunch at all and then get on with another afternoon, five hours work. In the evening, I would do an hour break, two hours of study, a yoga practice, then another two hours of marketing work. Who is willing to work 16 hours a day? Why would you work 16 hours a day? When people look at my agenda, I'm saying, there's a missing item on your agenda, Apple phone time. To me, meditation is my phone time. Yoga is my phone time. Doing a speech like this is my phone time. Having a cup of coffee with my friends is my phone time. Walking on the road, smiling at the sunshine, is my fun time. When your heart is full of light and happiness and peace, fun is everywhere. There is a time for everything. At the moment, it's time to spread the seeds and patiently nurture and grow the sprout. Until then, the services need to be rendered because I know with great gifts and skills it comes greater responsibilities. If you are suffering from physical pain, emotional struggle and mental distress, don't be afraid to message me. You are not alone. 
pain comes from the attachment, the desire. The desire of this material world, the material items, the pain from not having enough knowledge, not being able to see, understand the light above us, not having the awareness of your physical sensations and your emotions. Learn to let your attachment go. Learn to become aware. To surrender. Learn to start an inward journey. A journey that is free from suffering. That is peaceful. That is knowledgeable. That is awakening. If you are going through a similar journey, please don't be shy. Don't be a stranger. Message me or call me. Check out the services that I offer, be it a philosophical talk, a hypnotherapy or Reiki session, or a yoga and meditation class, or simply a massage. Allow me to hold your hands, to walk with you, to help you to succeed, to be free, to live a life that is full of a smile, laughter and joy. I look forward to share with you my knowledge, my experience and my blessing. Zentopia, where your transformation begins. Namaste.